welcome back to a Simply Simple Life. Today I'm going to share a couple of videos with you guys. So I'm filming about maybe four videos. So excuse the same outfit. I'm not going to change. On my day off, um, I do my filming and um, and then I edit throughout the, the week. So this video is going to be a little bit of a sensitive issue because we, our world today is not the same as it was two weeks ago three weeks ago maybe you know a month ago I just I just want to go back to how it was a month ago but we can't do that so I have four kids and with that being said I think as a mom first before anything else so my last vlog I showed you guys how like panic at Costco it wasn't so much a panic like people stocking up and I just want to say it just before anything else you have to we have to consider how our life is based on our family's needs people might think i'm stocking up uh, on a regular basis but i have four kids and two adults so to us a lot of shopping is just a regular shopping especially for like food supplies and now my kids are home from school for six weeks so in the past week i have been in and out of costco in and out of Trader Joe's, in and out of like Target. So I am considered stocked up. But that's because I, I have four kids to, to think about. So I have plenty of, I feel like I, I'm, I have plenty of things that I need to where we can now stay home for a good month and not, not really work. So, you know, with you guys out there, with my friends, stay safe. <laughs> Stay safe and this too will pass. This is not going to be our life forever. But um, as as a mom and as a realist, I, I consider myself a realist now. I, I never knew that, but I'm I think of real things rather than you know, I'm not political. I'm not political, I'm not a scientist, I'm not all that. I'm a mom and I'm a realist. So when I go to the store, I tell, you know, I tell myself and my family, like, we need this because one, I got a lot of mouth to feed, okay? But right now, it's just chaos out there. Don't fight over things that's not available at the moment because believe me, stores are stocking up, okay? You may go to a particular store, do not believe the hype of Costco. You may go because Costco is just, we're all crazy. Costco shoppers, we all are crazy. I'm going to put that out there. But if Costco doesn't have it, don't panic. Target might have it. Um, your local grocery store might have it. Rite Aid might have it. I found these things at Rite Aid. I found these things at Trader Joe's. I found certain things here at a local store that I have. But yet, Costco was all out and everybody is just seems like in a panic that Costco is the only way to shop. That's not the case. So... I just wanted to put that out there okay with all that I wanted to show you guys a DIY of things that we can help our family ourselves our home our business wherever it is that uh, you are needing these things to keep ourselves more of a um, healthy healthy environment friends I have four kids it is beyond control to be able to sanitize everything beyond control. I can't do it beyond control. I would have to literally keep my kids in each room and let them stay there for the six weeks that they are out of school to be really contain this. But that's not life. So still live your life, but then be more cautiously aware of um, hand sanitizing, um, you know, hygiene, good, practice good hygiene. <laughs> Bottom line, practice good hygiene. Okay, so, our everyday life, how it was, like I said a month ago, it's not how it is. You cannot easily grab this at the store. Hubby grabbed one. Second visit, there was another one, just one. He's like, I should grab it. Like I said, no, we have one. It's plenty. Get, let another person have that. So I, I have this. And then before this thing, I have this. And this is like from Costco. So I had like three packs of this or four. That's fine. If it's there, let others have it. This. Well, this, I'm sorry, this doesn't last a long time. So, toilet paper. I, you guys showed me um, 
You guys were on my, if you guys follow me on my vlog, I showed you hubby had purchased toilet paper. Everybody was grabbing it at Costco. I grabbed one too. One. Okay. But friends, if, if you're, if the stores are running out of toilet paper, don't panic. They will restock. It's okay. It's okay. And then you know what? For my islanders there, Asians, it's all good. Don't panic. Don't panic. I, I'm telling my families and my friends, panic when there's no more water coming out of your faucet. Panic when there's no more food at the grocery store, but that's not happening. So we all just need to, you know, bring it down a notch, okay? Uh, with again, that being said, all right, I'm gonna show you guys because this is not easily accessible. Let me just start off with this one. Hand wipes is not easily accessible. Hand sanitizers. If you find hand sanitizers, someone will fight you. I swear at the store, someone will fight you because it's just such a hot commodity and you cannot find it anywhere. So um, there's DIYs out there, but be careful of all the DIYs of hand sanitizers. So CDC is recommending that do not do your own DIY if you do not know the, the ingredients of the, the ratio. Okay, so I watched the news today. I'm not getting this this from like Pinterest or I'm just pulling it out there out of a hat. Okay, so I watched the news today. She did a segment. Um, I, don't, I don't know if she's a scientist or a doctor, but okay, if my local news has her out there, I'm trusting her. So if you, ha if you do not have hand sanitizer, but if you have aloe gel, you can make your own hand, uh, hand sanitizer. Um, aloe gel comes like this. I was able to grab this and believe me when I saw this at Trader Joe's it was like a lot. I got six. Yes, that was hoarding but that's one for every member of my family. Like I said, do not judge someone because you think that they're hoarding. You may be a family of one or two or one child. I have four. So I got six because that's enough for every single one of my family. More than that, I think it's not fair. So I'm sorry if someone here thinks that I'm hoarding, but I'm taking care of my needs for my family. So I got six of this, $1.99. It's a Trader, jo Trader Joe's moisturizing gel with aloe vera, and you need gel, okay? Because this, to make the DIY, which is the um, alcohol, and is it the isoprofil? Is that how you pronounce it? Or rubbing alcohol, but it has to be 70% proof. 70% proof. If it's less than that, it will not work. You're wasting this and you're wasting this. It has to be 70% and it's a two to one ratio. So two of this to one part of this. Two parts, one part, okay? And if you got that and if you need a measuring cup, I use a measuring cup. I don't trust my judgment, okay? So I measured out of this and to show you guys how I measured, <laughs> I put it in here, okay? And then I took, um, I took like two thirds, you know, like a two third cup, you know, two of these, and then two thirds cup of this kind of thing. But then you put it into the aloe gel and then you put it into a container, either a pump or just like this. I, I just put it back in here. And then um, shake it really, really well because the aloe is so thick, you really need to shake it. So I was like vigorously shaking it. Now every child's room has one of these. Okay, that's why I had six. But now you got your own um, hand sanitizer and just use it throughout the day, okay? It does make your hand feel dry after a point because you're constantly doing it. And that's when, again, have uh, lotions. I have this Scentsy Pineapple Coconut Vanilla and then I have um, hand cream from Scentsy as well, but any lotions will work. Okay, so that's making your own hand sanitizers. And then, because this is, um, the wipes are not easily accessible, so what I do is the baby section, when everybody is going for the paper towels and the toilet paper, I went to the baby section and I bought a box, like a big box of the unscented baby wipes. So I think there's like maybe 10 or eight of these packs. Now, I'm not gonna put all of it in here because then you're wasting it, okay? Like again, um, consume. What I've been trying to teach myself and my kids is we are now consuming everything that we have, even with food, even uh, vegetables and leftovers. Like, do not waste food. 
okay because one i don't want to go to the store okay we are now staying home for 30 days and we're good but i don't want to have to keep making trips to the, to the store um if you need to of course you can <laughs> Oh my gosh I have to put a disclaimer in everything I say so please excuse me but I put a little bit of um, baby wipes in here every child of mine every family member has one of these this one we're just keeping at the home kind of thing but this one they have it at when they were going to school they had it in their backpack I have it in my purse they have it in their purse they also have it in their room but I give them um, a sandwich bag with some um baby wipes and just enough baby wipes that will last for a few days because alcohol uh rubbing alcohol or this isoprofil alcohol the 70 percent proof it will it will dry out so that's why you make sure it's tight and again another disclaimer this is extremely flammable do not put it near heat do not do not put it by itself onto something that will um, cause flame fire. So please be careful, okay? But all I do, and this one I've had in my under my uh, bathroom sink forever because it's about to expire. It says June 20. So I was able to grab two of these over at my Rite Aid last week. So I have two extra. Then I have six of these. I'm good. For, I'm good I don't need any more but what I've been doing is putting those baby wipes into the plastic bag and then I just put a little bit just depending on how much wipes you have in there and then kind of you know kind of make sure that it all goes in there I would not recommend um, I would not recommend putting that whole thing and pouring it in here because there's so much baby wipes in here there is how many is in here a hundred and after a while it, the it, it, the vapor kind of what do you call that it dries out but this is good for a few days okay so when you open this up i don't have a ratio for that one so i don't know if there is you can smell the alcohol and then with that being said now you're able to use this because it's got alcohol in there and this is unscented and wipe the surface you know wipe your hand when I go to the store I use this um, first to wipe my hand and then I wipe the cart but I make sure that I wipe the cart like you know face down and then I leave it like this face up to where I didn't use it to wipe and then I'll use that to push the cart because right now even the stores are no longer having the wipes available for customers okay like I said our world is changing okay so that's one DIY another DIY is if you can find gloves you know buy gloves so this one was like a 30 gloves hubby found this at Rite Aid okay use gloves okay another one is hydrogen peroxide okay I saw this on the news so I did not just pull this out of a Pinterest uh, hat okay so this one there's it's by itself but you can put it into a spray bottle the whole thing and then be able to spray that and then that one acts as your like spray that kills germs okay so that's what she said and i will do that i was able to just grab this yesterday so my rite aid did have about three i grabbed one that's not panic <laughs> all right another one okay is another one is that Clorox so to show you guys this is what I had at home a week ago and then I'm like thinking like okay it works but this particular Clorox nowhere in here did it tell me that it kills germs I could not find it anywhere so maybe it's here somewhere I just could not find it this one doesn't kill germs okay this the scented one so then I was able to grab this so I'm good <laughs> for a while okay so of course I use this into my laundry what I've been doing with this one is I have a tub in the sink and that ratio okay this is important do not mix bleach with anything but water or soap that's it do not mix anything with bleach other than water or soap please the ratio for that one is one-third bleach to one gallon she said um, on my news um, 
So if you, and then you just need to adjust that. I'm not good at math. You need to adjust that for the size of what you need. But it is one third cup bleach to one gallon of water. So what I have is I have one, one third bleach to one cup of gallon of water. Put that aside and then I will just get a little bowl that's already in there or a little Danica's little plastic cup and then I will take that out and put it into one of these to-go containers when we order pho onto my kitchen and then I have that with my um, my little dish towel not the dish towel those little small ones that you can wipe the counter uh, so it soaks in there throughout the day so then I'm constantly taking it out wiping the counters wiping the refrigerator I can only do so much like I told you we cannot we cannot have a germ-free home because when you have so many kids as I do it's just impossible okay but remember the, the ratio and nothing nothing else but soap and water that is so uh, important friends but even if you don't have any of this friends soap and water soap and water is just plenty don't worry don't panic just if you have soap and water and every store I have gone to has soap okay and you have water you're fine just be diligent constantly use soap and water and then they said singing happy birthday is it twice is um is how long you should be washing your hands so I tell Danica sing happy birthday and then she's washing her hands and then though because because I'm a paranoid mom I have another bottle of this, like I said, with that same gallon of water with the bleach. I put um, like dish soap or laundry soap and then I put that in um, the, the bucket that I have that should last me a day or two of the one third bleach and then the one gallon water. I put some in here. This is Ikea. I had so many of these. So I label one for bleach and then I label one for the hydrogen peroxide I haven't done the hydrogen peroxide as you guys can see because like I said I bought it yesterday this is bleach and water and um, this the soap I will spray this onto the doorknob onto the sink the faucets onto the counter onto the um, the bathroom throughout the day I'm just spraying because they're kids they, they don't know this world that we're living in right now for the moment so just be patient with them and just be um, patient with yourself and there's only so much you can do but I think these helps out like they're saying now like this this is just like <laughs> this is so bad but what can you do when they don't have this you know what I mean it's like like I said just do the best that you can this one I use it for the the sink I do have it into the kitchen but I've taken it out of the, the bathroom so for the bathroom I just have a paper towel and then I have one of this that's a, like almost an empty and then I just keep adding some wipes in there because I've always had baby wipes I use it to wipe everything down even though I don't have a baby baby so I've always used baby wipes to clean but I, I add the, the alcohol and I keep it into the bathroom as well as the soap and water and then as well as a hand sanitizer okay that's all you can do I hope this is not something that you guys are panicking about. If it is, I'm sorry. But I hope this helps you guys out to think that, you know what, this is not going to be our everyday life forever. This is just our everyday life for the moment until it gets a little bit better. And it will. Until then, mahalo friends and have yourself a great day.